one. For those that may have somewhat lost sight of the distinction between opposing the Democrats and supporting Trump, yes, I am shamefully guilty of this. Do you have any specific objectivist reading suggestions from Trump detox? <laughs> I mean, go back and listen to all my shows during the, uh, during the Trump presidency. Um, I would go back and read Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand's writing from the 1960s and 70s. So read her essays on politics. Read her approach to politics, how she dealt with ideas. I mean, most of the time she criticized the left, but how she criticized the left, in what ways she did it, the kind of arguments she made. And then look at how she criticized, for example, JFK for his pragmatism. And then think about to what extent was Trump even more pragmatic than JFK? What would she have thought of Trump if he was more pragmatic than JFK? If she had such a low view of pragmatism when it came to JFK, what would a view of pragmatism be when it came to Trump, who was much more of a pragmatist? Read Ayn Rand's political analysis from the 60s, and you can find that in collections in The Voice of Reason, in um, a Philosophy Who Needs It, in, uh, and then in, in those big newsletters, The Objectivist, The Ayn Rand Letter, that, that you can you could still buy, right? So, I mean, yeah, think about the fact, read what Ayn Rand had to say about why she wasn't voting for Ronald Reagan. The Fascist New Frontier, that's a good one, where she talks about, and she talks about why it's fascism, it's not really socialism, communism that we're heading towards, it's fascism. But, but you know, read why she didn't vote for Reagan. Why is she kind of like Ford, even though Ford was a, I mean, it was like a Republican Biden. Ford was a Republican Biden, I think. He was a middle of the road. He wasn't particularly conservative. He, 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 he was a, a, a compromiser, but, a, but a, a decent man who was, spent his life in politics, who was governing from the middle. And, and was, was, was generally you know, anti-government involvement, and he was not a religious, he wasn't super religious, and that's what she liked about him vis-a-vis -vis Republican. So read Ayn Rand, that's, that was, that's the best de detox I can think of in terms of detoxing from, um, from Trump. Right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, 
then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.